the freelance musician and in this video I'm going to help you design your potential portfolio career so that you can establish a varied and most importantly sustainable career as a freelance musician. Now as classical musicians we often fall into the trap of thinking that unless we have a salaried orchestral job or earn a living solely as a performer then we have failed as a musician but of course this is far from true. And in fact, the majority of musicians are freelancers with several different income streams that make up their career. In fact, lots of musicians intentionally choose to freelance because they want the freedom, the flexibility and the variety that it brings. Now, you might be listening to this video and thinking, but I can only play my instrument. I don't have any other skills. What else can I do apart from that? We'll grab a pen and paper because I'm going to walk you through three steps that will prove that you have many more skills than you realise. So step one, write down your principal discipline. I'm a pianist, you might be a violinist, a singer, a composer, a conductor. Um, underneath this principal discipline, or you could make it the centre of a spider diagram, list all the different types of jobs that you could do that are directly related to that principal discipline. So as a pianist, my options would be solo performing, accompanying, ensemble performing, teaching, and maybe work as a repetitive. Pause this video now and write down all of your ideas. Now onto step two. Make a separate list or another spider diagram of all the other music skills that you have that are not directly related to your principal discipline, but you know that you're good at them and you'd be happy to use them in a professional setting. For example, that might be conducting, arranging, recording, editing. Do you have piano skills and you could offer your services as an accompanist? Or maybe you have a second instrument that you'd be happy to teach or perform in an ensemble or maybe even a function band. And now step three, make a list of all the skills that you have that are not music related, but you know that you're really good at them. For example, maybe you speak a second language that you could teach. Maybe you have a whole collection of gluten-free recipes that you could blog about. Maybe you love working with children or you're great with graphic design um, or photography or you're a whiz at social media or creative writing. Now at this point I'm going to stress something really important. There is no rule that says that to be a professional musician every part of your portfolio career has to be related to music. Earning money from something that isn't music related does not make you any less of a musician. It just means that you're a really smart entrepreneur. And in the current climate, lots of freelance musicians are turning to other things to supplement their portfolio career. So stick with me, stay open-minded, and if there are any skills that come to mind, make sure you write them down. It can be anything at all. You're not necessarily going to use everything that you put down, but it's good to have all the possible options laid out in front of you. And now in front of you, hopefully you have a page of potential income streams that you can explore. Some of them you may decide you're not really interested in. Some will require some trial and error to see if they're going to stick, but some will become the backbone of your freelance career. Now, it won't happen overnight. Building a freelance career is a long game, but I speak from experience when I say it is hugely satisfying. I hope this video has inspired you, and if you would like more tips and advice on building a freelance career, check out the Freelance Musician podcast, or come and find me over on Instagram at the Freelance Musician. I'd really love to connect with you there. A huge thank you to YCAT for their help in producing this video and I hope to see you again soon. Bye!